I'm sure that most, if not all, right thinking Nigerians will see the need for all of us to work together to ensure that there is a change, a good change, a beneficial change, a peaceful change, a progressive change in 2019. A change from massive unemployment, which we have now, a change from continual harassment and killing of people, a change for, from the fear, the Boko Haram, thank you, threat, and bombings across Nigeria. A change from a situation where people are, farmers are afraid to go to their farms. Primary responsibility of a government is to protect the lives of its citizens. This government is not doing so. President Brady is my friend. Once upon a time, you recall, I raised his hand in Adama Singa in Ibadan. Asking people to vote for because he said he would research on Nigeria. So it's not a personal matter. The truth of the matter is that he has not done well. And I was hoping that he himself will look at the situation as a very honest person and do himself a favor and do us a favor by saying that in the light of what has happened and given the state of his health, he is not going to contest. That's what I thought he would do, but he didn't do so. Well, yes, indeed, that's going to be our next focus. But just before we go there, let's bring in this information, which is just in. We do understand that a caterpillar has fallen off the Cara Bridge. Uh, that's just after Berger uh, crashing some vehicles with the images you see there. It's not certain if there's been any casualty as of yet, but two other vehicles, a Ford and a passenger bus, were badly damaged. The backlog of traffic, the tailback, usually with this has been caused, but this is because of the onlookers looking down at the accident. Officials of the Federal Safety Corps were also on ground. So uh, we will appeal or put out that information. If you do have anyone who intends applying that route or almost getting there, you may just do well to inform them to seek alternative routes. And if there's anyone who's there, if you're going to eventually, if that's the only route you've got, do not join in looking down at the bridge. You will contribute greatly and sadly to the tailback that we will get as a result of this clash. So a uh, caterpillar has fallen off the Cara Bridge, which is just after Berger, crashing some vehicles as we see. But uh, it's not certain if there's been any casualty at the moment. But we understand that two vehicles, two other vehicles, a Ford and the passenger bus, were badly damaged and there's this backlog of traffic as a result of that. So we employ the uh, road safety officials to see what they can do to get in there and sort it out. And we'll bring you more updates on that matter as we get them. Let's turn now to our focus. As you just saw in this report, what do they do about it? Ajuri. Thank you, Chamberlain. That's quite a tragedy uh, there on uh, the Anya side of town. Uh, you know, welcome back to the program. We have uh, with us Jasper Azuatalam, a member of the Board of Trustees of the All Progressives Congress and an Executive Director with the Nigeria Social Insurance Trust Fund, NSITF. And alongside him is Ola Dimeji Fabi, who is a member of the Opposition People's Democratic Party. You're very welcome to the program this morning, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. Good morning. Sure. Let me start with you, uh, Mr. Azuatalam. You know, we've heard from President Buhari in London where he said to uh, pri uh, British Prime Minister Theresa May that he's more concerned about the economy and the security of the country rather than politics. Uh, what's your take on his current position in relation to the electoral dynamics are playing out in the country? Thank you very much, uh, Ajuri. Um, I think what the President just said has is been what he has been saying even when he was seeking uh, uh, election. Uh, even when he was seeking to be elected. Um, the president has always said that he is going to focus on the economy, the security, and then um, his uh, fight against corruption. And I think uh, after about two years and so, we can confidently say that looking at what has happened that day, he has actually started the process of fulfilling uh, those problems. But I wouldn't say he has actually uh, done that uh, outrightly because he is doing that and this is a process. If he has stopped doing it today, then if he has finished doing it today, then there will be anything to do. But he has started the process and we can see that he is achieving these goals. And uh, 
for you know when he said that a lot of people we are talking about the issue of whether he is going to contest or whether he's not going to contest and he felt that he should just say it and then let the people know that this is what is going to happen so that people will start spec stop speculation because you know when there is speculation in politics it always brings a lot of things people are not sure of where to go people are not sure of what will happen and when you are not sure of what is going to happen next people could act based on their assumption but he just said he wanted to lay it to rest to say that he is going to contest for the 2019 general election but that that is not just his focus that his focus is still in government because he still had the mandate of Nigerians for which is going to run for the next one year and all that. So that he has declared he's going to contest for election is just to set it clear and but then the focus is what he has promised Nigerians he's going to do and which he is doing. Mr. Fabi, uh, would you say, do you, uh, do you buy that? Do you believe that President Buhari is concerned simply with administration and not with politics right now? At all. Uh... Let me thank you for bringing me this morning. And uh, let me start by saying that um, it is quite painful and unfortunate that at this level of our nationhood, we're still um, struggling to, to get so many things right. Uh, starting from my electoral process to the kind of people we bring on board to lead us, uh, it's been, it has never been this bad in this country. And um, I'm sure a lot of people out there will agree with me that uh, the economy has not been what it should be, and then uh, it's, it's, it's quite unfortunate. Uh, the, the, there are performance indicators that will tell you, that are accepted globally, that will tell you whether a government or an organization is doing very well. And I can say boldly here that uh, the APC-led government has not done enough, it's not really done well. Because uh, how do you, what do you say about a government that promised so much, but I've only been able to deliver little. What do you say about a government that said that promised so much? I'll bring in robust economy, and then from day one, it's been one blunder or the other. This country was growing at the previous years, let me say 2011 and 2014, the, the economy was growing at, at the rate of 7%, and, and then the un unemployment rate was just 6.5%, but now it has grown to 26% now. So quite a lot of things are not just normal, not just right, and it's, everything boils down to strange policy, strange economic policies, uh, unpopular policies, and lack of capacity to actually drive up most, most of these things. For me, and I know for so many Nigerians, it has not been so good, and then they've really, really messed up. The well, government really messed up. You know, in, of course, you're a member of the PDP, and I want to ask you, do you... Does your lamentation begin at 2015, or does this extend back to the administration before it? It has always been. It's, it doesn't even stop with the last administration before them. It has always been, but it has never been this bad. Mm. This is exactly what I'm saying. Mm. It doesn't have to start from government is continuum. And when you are put in a position of leadership, you are expected to fix it. You promise us you are coming to fix. But unfortunately, they lack the capacity to fix the state. And that is, that's exactly what everybody is saying. What do you say about a government that promised rule of law? and that, are, that have adopted a rule of man. So all the things that are happening, the aggregate, aggregate of everything that is happening in Nigeria today is as a result of bad, in, 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 inadequate leadership. So what's, your, what's the solution in your mind? No, the solution is simple. Nigerians know what they want. Nigerians want good governance. They, go, they want quality service, service, service delivery. They want a leader who has the capacity to take, their, to take over, to take out their pains. So right now we are there. We're already in one chance. So it's now what I'm saying is Nigeria should just try and be patient. Unfortunately, I was one of those who really pleaded for time for this government in this same channel when the government was coming on board. I was part of those who campaigned for this election because we believe they will, it's going to be yeah. a new era. We're, we're, we're going we're gonna to get back to you. We have to take a very short break, and this conversation will continue in just a moment. Our viewers, please stay with us.